Korea is calling on Tokyo to make a sincere effort to comply with the agreement reached at their bilateral summit on Monday related to Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women. That's because since the summit, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has been making a series of puzzling statements that seem to go against the spirit of the talks. For details, we turn to Song Ji-sun. It's hard to say what Abe is really thinking about with regard to this sensitive issue as his words have kept changing since he returned to Japan on Monday. Now, Seoul is urging Tokyo to show its sincerity in following through with the agreements they reached in their summit talks. The wartime sexual slavery issue is not only the core issue for Korea-Japan relations, it's a matter of women's rights. There are only 47 survivors left, with an average age of 89, and no one can argue that the matter needs to be handled with some urgency. We hope Tokyo acts with sincerity, as agreed in the summit talks. That way, it will be beneficial for Japan's future. The presidential office of Chung Wade has also called on Tokyo to comply with the agreements reached at the summit on Monday. Japanese media outlets have reported that Abe has backtracked on his pledge at the summit to try to resolve the issue at the earliest possible date through another round of high-level talks on the matter. He reportedly told Liberal Democratic Party leaders Hadakazu Tanigaki that the two countries have different perspectives on how to approach the issue, and reaching an agreement will only get harder if they set a deadline for its resolution. But Abe was later quoted as saying that Tokyo will also try to meet President Park's request to speed things up to make some progress this year, which marks the 50th anniversary of the two countries normalizing diplomatic relations. While Seoul's foreign ministry says the date for the next round of high-level talks hasn't been set yet, both Korean and Japanese media have reported the talks could be held as early as this month. If that happens, it will take place here in Seoul as the last two were held in Tokyo. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.